Hey there everyone, this is Seb and welcome to another vlog thingy just after Easter. I hope everyone is doing alright and had a good Easter weekend. And did you enjoy your extra free time? If it is applicable at least. I mean there are certain jobs that have uh, to work during Easter as well. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, incidentally I had some a bit of work on Saturday but it was all good, it was all fun. And uh, altogether, yeah. Cool weekend, especially for uh, my gaming collection and channel in general. Because, first update, I got a new card. Finally! It, it got here really fast as well. I, I like ordered it on Monday and was here on, on Friday. It was really fast from Japan. And uh, yeah, been testing it out over the weekend. You already saw the Let's Check video of uh, Robo Warrior, that game that kicks my ass. <laughs> and uh, judging by the comments, it kicks a lot of ass. <laughs> it's not just mine. Um, but yeah, that was recorded with the new card. I already noticed a couple of things that I can do better. So, you know, it's good to learn from that. And if you have any tips in that regard, do let me know if you notice something I might uh, miss. Um, because yeah, no, small details uh, just go way beyond my head. But yeah, I noticed something, so already found some things that I can do to make the, the video even better. But uh, yeah, just just go to that video <laughs> and then go back to the video on Tiny Toons Adventure, and it's like day and night. It's it's awesome. I'm so happy with the new card, and it, it works amazingly. I think actually it works better than the solution I had before, which was the upscaler in between the uh, uh, Blackmagic Intensity Pro card. Uh, I think this one actually does record even crisper video, um, even though it was recorded through composite, because my NES is not modded for anything better. Uh, which I now might actually be interested in doing, but uh, you know, one thing at a time. Kind of broke right now because the card is kind of expensive, but totally worth it, I think. And uh, yeah, also been testing it on uh, CDI and stuff and uh, other consoles, and yeah, it just works wonderfully. I'm very happy with it. So, yes, CDI stuff, it's coming back. I am uh, going to record some more footage and uh, yeah, maybe uh, at the end of this month, well, next month, <laughs> have an actual proper review out for a uh, game. Um, which I wanted to do on the previous card, but the thing broke down and, uh, you know, yeah, all the footage went bye-bye. And I just got frustrated throughout the script and everything. So I'm doing it fresh, <laughs> which is okay, I don't mind. Um, it's not one of those worst games, <laughs> so, so I really don't mind. Uh, speaking of uh, CDI, over the weekend I actually sat down to also uh, catalog my CDI collection because I had never really done that, um, not in a proper way at least. Um, so now I did and yeah, it's quite, quite astonishing what I have amassed over the years, I must say. Uh, I think there's like... A few things still missing in some boxes but I found most of my things and I came down to a total of 172 yes that's a lot I know unique which makes it even better titles on CDI so I'm not talking about doubles and such I have plenty of those I've got like five miss how much do you need you know <laughs> but uh, no, there's no demos, there's no uh, beta versions, and there is no, like, uh, I've, I've got a couple of discs that work on multiple platforms, like I've got one disc that works on 3DO, CD32, and CDI for example, but those don't count. These are all uh, just compact disc interactive functionality discs, um, excluding the, the Philips catalog discs that I also have for movies and such. Also, no VCDs. Uh, I got a, I got a modest collection of video CDs, but those don't count for discount as well. This is all CDI stuff, and 172. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that number. It's quite a nice uh, number. And do, do keep in mind because that may sound like, whoa, I didn't know there were so many games for the system. These are not all games, okay? 
uh, CDI had games, but it also had a lot of educational stuff like training videos, uh, but like CDI on how to dance, for example, or photography, or uh, like uh, how do you take care of your dog, <laughs> like all kinds of stuff. Um, and there's of course the, the, the children things, the edutainment, uh, which can be kind of interesting as well. And I might show some of that off as well at some point, you know. Instead of let's play, we have a let's learn. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but also some referential uh, titles like encyclopedias. And uh, there's a Dutch one and there's an English one, for example. Um, though I didn't, like when I say unique, uh, titles I have, for example, the Zelda and Link games, I have them both in Dutch and in English, uh, but they still count for one unique title in my uh, catalog. So, yeah, I'm very happy that I did that because it, it did take me quite some time uh, because it was so much and it was spread out so much. And just from moving everything a couple of times, it, it was just a big mess. And uh, finally, it's kind of sorted out, and uh, yeah makes it a lot easier to just grab a game that you want to play, you know, or want to review. <laughs> Most games on CDI you don't really want to play. Well, there's a few exceptions and I'm very happy to uh, like show some off again and, and just do some more reviews and show you, you know, CDI is not only bad, it's, it has a bad rep, but it has some good stuff in there as well. And that was what my channel originally was all about and I think it's about time that I went back to that a bit and uh, you know, showed some of that off as well. Uh, also, I got a nice overview of how many doubles I had, which is just ridiculous. Like, I've got like 64 titles that are double. <laughs> so I'll be looking at some uh, some future uh, trades and stuff and uh, see if I can actually dump them uh, at, at other people. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, as I said, like got missed like five times. <laughs> it's like every CDI comes with missed. <laughs> but oh well. It's, uh, it, it's really cool. Um, like it, it grew so big and it, it's so, such an unconscious thing because over here the CDI titles they don't tend to be that expensive and like you see like three or four titles in the pack that you really want you contact the seller and they're like you know just, just take the whole lot. Just get them all off of me because I, I can't get rid of them. Of course, nowadays it's a bit different because nowadays people are starting to collect more for the CDI as well, so it's harder to uh, get whole packs for real cheap. But uh, yeah, back in like 2006, 2007, it was really easy to get like 30 games for about 10 euros or something. <laughs> oh, the golden age of collecting, huh? And yeah. Being busy with this collection and, and actually cataloging it again, I'm just really um, getting that bug again. Like for the last couple of years, I really didn't do much to expand the collection. Like maybe something when I really see it for, for a good deal and I would pick it up, but didn't really hunt it down, didn't go to many fairs, um, just because, well, I don't have the money, so I can't spend on it, so I better not even look for it. And just being busy with it just makes me want to go after some games again. And uh, yeah, who knows? So I'll probably uh, uh, set aside some money again for that. And uh, yeah, maybe some future interesting unboxings. Uh, looking for mostly trading stuff though, because yeah, it's just more fun, I think. Um, partly because I know if I trade something then I actually give something to someone who's actually going to use it who appreciates the item it's not just some reseller who sells it on and in this way also I don't need top dollar for my games you know if I know that someone is actually enjoying them and it's just wanting them then it's not so much of a problem to, to um, you know not get the full ridiculous prices for that they tend to go nowadays like, uh, I recently checked out Zelda's Adventure, like, oh, 300 euros, seriously? It's not even rare. And it, there's a little pet peeve of mine. It's where people say, oh, it's rare. No, it's not rare. It's not. It was quite common. 
you can almost always find one. If you want rare, I've got rare CDI titles and they are not worth 300 dollars or euros. Uh, but look them up on eBay and I will guarantee you that you will find none. Like they turn up like once every half a year or something. I mean that is quite rare. Um, but Zelda's Adventure? Always out there. Always up for grabs. Just for a ridiculous amount. Sought after is not the same as being rare. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, I've got like one CDI title that was released officially, not by Philips, but you know, it's still an official release for the CDI system in 1999. How many do you think were created <laughs> of that title? <laughs> not a whole lot, I can tell you that. <laughs> so, you know, that stuff is rare. But uh, whatever, I digress. Just very happy to be busy with it and, uh, you know, get back into the swing of CDI. I, I need to dig through some more crap if you get my drift and uh, have that uh, as a project as well. Uh, speaking of projects, of course the voice acting thing is still going strong, getting more and more voice actors involved, which is awesome. Uh, still can use a lot of females though, so still if you need, if you know some females that would like to lend me the voice, uh, please send them my way. Um, but otherwise, very good. I'm going to start recording this week, I think. I will do an update video when I do. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to do it this week and uh, settle on the final names and, and all that. And, uh, uh, but here's where I would like your opinion on, on this. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in here because otherwise I would need to make a video for just a small question. Um, because now I have my card again, I was intending to play through Annihilation the NTSC version. However, I can now play through original hardware, of course. However, here is the thing. Um, I actually didn't mind playing through Annihilation because I've noticed that the Paul curse is considerably huge in this uh, example. Like, the game moves so much slower in the PAL version than the NTSC version. So here's my question. Do you want me to play through it on original PAL hardware or through emulation on the NTSC? I do have an NTSC NES, however I do not have the game uh, on the NTSC. So, you know, it, it, it's gonna be either emulation or real hardware. Emulation is gonna be slightly faster and Paul is gonna be slower, a lot slower. Uh, what I found interesting when I did a little test play was that um, because it moves so much faster it also becomes a bit more challenging for me again because I know the Paul version quite well and the NTSC version, uh, yeah, I, I had some trouble with the timing because it's so different. Uh, so in that regard it was also kind of interesting but just let me know, uh, just just a little vote. I will try and do the, one of those interactivity uh, thingies here where you can vote. Never used those, so that's going to be interesting. So, uh, cast your vote. Emulation NTSC or real thing? Paul. Oh, and most votes will win. Anyway guys, I think that's about it for this video. I thank you very much for, uh, once again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and join me for the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.